Hey you guys, this is Tanya Tanku and I'm bringing you guys a video about another credit bureau. So I don't know if this is number five. I, I just made a video about um, a new credit bureau. Well, it's not new. It's been around for a couple of years now, Innovis. Um, there's also another credit bureau called SageStream. Um, SageStream actually generates a credit score, unlike Innovis, and then gather information just like the big three credit bureaus, like Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And if you recently apply for credit, um, you may have gotten a letter. Um, if you read it, if you were denied, it may have said um, the information came from SageStream LLC. SageStream is actually, um, like I said, it's a credit bureau that gathers information and create credit scores and give this information to creditors when you apply. So I'm going to show you guys how to pull that credit report as well. And be sure and fax over your request or either mail it in. It's a little different than Innovis. You can't apply for this, um, well, you can't request this credit report online. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to pull that report. So let's go ahead and go to sagestreamllc.com. I can type. Okay, this is the landing page for SageStream. If you click on consumer report, you can request your credit report here. Um, if you scroll down, it'll ask, it will explain to you what's required in order for you to submit the request. So one documentation that they'll need is like a driver's license, a passport to verify your identity. And then you need at least, um, here it says copies of at least two of the verification documents listed below. So basically you'll need your social security number and driver's license or um, state ID to request this credit report and send along this information, your name, current address, phone number, social security number, and date of birth. So you can fax it to this number or you can mail it to this address. It's the only way that you can get it at this time. Um, they're not accepting any online requests. So I hope you guys go ahead and request this um, credit report so you can see what's being reported to the creditors about you so you can at least see if there's any errors or incorrect information so that you can have that repaired or fixed as well. Hope this video helped you guys. Um, also up here, one more thing, um, you can place security freezes here. And if you don't want any um, credit card offers coming to you based on SageStream's information, you can select here. That's what the opt-out, opt-in um, option is for, just so that you don't get any um, offers in the mail from credit cards or, or car lots or whatever. So that's all there is to it. Hope this video helped. See you guys in the next video. Bye.